Rookie cool. back from break. How does it feel to be to be back training? Yeah, really good. We um, had a really nice break. It was good three weeks of just uh, reflecting and resetting um, of the first month back at training and um, good to sort of have a bit of a rest and, and then excited to be back and get back into routine and um, excited to, yeah, see what we can start achieving. How are you feeling after the break? Were you training during that three weeks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We definitely, yeah, don't stop training. Um, but it was good to get home and, and be around family and friends for the uh, Chrissy and, and New Year's and uh, put the feet up for a little bit. Um, obviously still training, but still getting the work done um, and feeling good. And everyone came back really in really good shape today, which was, was pleasing. And um, yeah, I guess the hard work starts now and we're really excited. How hard was the first session today? You did a, a bit of running kind of in the early part? Yeah, we did a, um, a bit of a fitness testing uh, sort of set up at the start um, just to sort of see where everyone's at and everyone obviously ran really well um, and I think yeah we're really happy it was a bit of a different setup to usual um, but uh, f for what the effort everyone put in was really pleasing. Were you doing like time trials or yo-yos or things like that? Uh, it was yeah it was a time trial set up uh, there was a couple of different um, ways we went about it there was 200 meter time trials 1k time trials um, and they, yeah, had, had a weird sort of, I don't know, set up to them. But, um, yeah, the boys attacked it head on and, and um, the results were really, really good. Who are we impressed from the group that came back really, really fit and kind of was leading the way? Um, Andy Brace always comes back in really good shape. Uh, the new guys um, were really, really pleasing. Corey Wagner ran really well. Um, Carl Warner was, always runs really well as well. And... Um, Freddie, Michael Frederick ran really, really um, sort of stood out actually. So yeah, it was pleasing to see. Where do you rank with those boys? How, how close to them were you? I was doing the 200. So I wasn't, I wasn't uh, with them, but I was pretty happy with how I ran as well. Yeah, I saw you doing some forward craft work with a bunch of other guys. And one guy in there was Nat Fife with you guys. Looks like he's going to play a bit of forward. What's that like having him in the forward group? Yeah, I love having him down there. He's... um. Obviously, an integral part of our team, and, and we love love playing with him. Um, and to have him in the forward line just adds just a, another strength um, to to our bow. And obviously, his bow he's he's been a phenomenal player for the club. And um, and to, to be able to move him down to the forward line now makes my my life a lot easier, and makes the rest of the forwards a lot easier. Um, and gives opportunity to the younger boys in the midfield as well. So it works works well in all capacities and um, excited to see what he can achieve. He's obviously spent time down there before, but forward craft is a different thing to midfield craft, obviously. He looked pretty comfortable down there, though, taking on Pierce and Hamling. Is he picking it up quickly? Yeah, no, he's definitely got that natural craft. He, he knows what he's doing. He, um, I'm still asking him for pointers about how I can get better at my forward craft. So he's, um, he's a professional at everything he does. And, um, and yeah, saw a little snippet today, but I think what he's got in store is going to be even better. So it's exciting. Speaking of Fife, are you expecting him to remain captain this year? And when does that process, I guess, kick off? Yeah, we haven't started the process yet, but um, yeah, obviously it's up to him, it's up to the club and, and whatever way they go, everyone fully supports. Um, exciting and pleasing thing is we've got lots of leaders at our club now that um, sort of gives us an, another option and, and the young boys coming through like Andy and Caleb and, and Youngie and, and these kinds of guys um, make our leadership group really exciting and, and one that sort of can be around for the long term as well as the short term. So um, whatever Fife in the club decides, um, I guess we'll wait and see. But um, yeah, that's out of sort of my hands. Alex obviously did a good job last year. Caleb and Andy, two names you mentioned. Do you think they'd be ready to take on a role like that if it was kind of voted by the group and, and that was the selection you guys made? Um, yeah, absolutely. I think there's a few guys that are more than capable of, of leading our club and obviously Fife is still very capable himself and, and I have no problem with him being captain. Um, but yeah, we did see Alex lead for a long part of the year when Fife was out injured um, and he did an awesome job. And, and so really, it's not really like a... We're not stressed about it or whoever, whoever gets it, gets it. And we just know that they'll lead from the front and they'll lead our group forward. So, um, yeah, we'll just see how it plays out. Speaking of Alex, we saw him leave the track a little early today and point to his leg. Do you know if he's got any sort of injury at the moment? No, nah, he's fine. He's just, yeah, he um, take, likes to take it pretty easy, I think. Uh, with that, that forward line makeup, you've obviously brought Josh Corbett in. Um, Luke Jackson's coming to the club as well as played a bit of forward. How do you see kind of those new guys 
kind of gelling into the group. It's a lot of only a few spots, a lot of guys kind of playing in the same position. Yeah, which is a really pleasing thing to have. Um, in the past, we probably had a had a problem with depth and and being able to get continuity out of out of our forward line. Um, and now I feel like we've built a really good base up there. And and although we've lost a couple of forwards, we've we've gained a couple as well. And and I think um, once we play, once we have a full preseason together and play a couple of games, I think we'll just click and. Um, and yes, as I said before, it's a, it's a forward line for the, for the long term, not the short term. And um, we feel like we've got a group now that can really take this club forward. And um, and I think we'll see that um, pretty early. Off, on the back of that, well, what is the benchmark for this year as a playing group? Um, obviously, we we're pretty happy with last year being able to make finals after six years of no finals. Um, it's definitely... It's definitely we haven't achieved anything still so um we want it we just want to keep improving um if we we want to get better than that so that's sort of the benchmark and and we believe we can win a flag and and i think um it's obviously a tough comp competition this year there's a lot of a lot of clubs that have have a chance and um it's, it's very even so um yeah we just want to take take it week by week and sort of win as many games as we can and and see how we can just attack it from there and for you personally, obviously, a lot of people see you as a barometer for the forward line. When you play well, the team plays well. I know you say the opposite is true, but what, what are you hoping to achieve from this year? Um, yeah, I just want to keep taking my personal game forward as well. Um, I just, yeah, keep playing to my strengths and work on my weaknesses. And, and we've got a really good coaching group around me to help me do that. And, um, and for me, I just want team success. So whatever way I can help, wherever I can help, I'm more than happy and I'll put my hand up to do anything. So, um, yeah, we, we pride ourselves on being a team of role players and um, and the more we get better at our role, the further we'll go. So, um, yeah, I'm just sort of happy with that. saw you get around Todd Murphy the other day on Instagram, but any connection to all that? Yeah, yeah, he's a good mate of mine. We grew up together. I was really good mates with his older brother, so he's a couple of years younger, but um, grew up with him and his family and, um, yeah, absolutely wrapped for him to get called up to the test squad for the um, India tour and um, reached out to him. So, um, yeah, I'm sure you'll get a game when they're over there and it'll be exciting to see how he goes. Playing backyard cricket against him, how'd you go? How'd you I have. How'd you go? Yeah, we used, um, used to give him a bit actually. He's, he's a bit <laughs> of a little smart ass, but um, obviously he, he's gone a lot further than I have in that, in that sense. But um, I reckon we used to have the upper hand in backyard cricket until he'd start chasing us with the bat. <laughs>